And now the Mega Squad has arrived to practice their Mega Moves. I guess it only makes sense for there to be another forgettable video game to promote another forgettable DreamWorks movie. That's the way these things work. And to its credit, this video game adaptation of the latest in second-rate 3D animation is at least faithful to the source material. It's unoriginal, it's boring, and it's almost impossible to sit through. Uncanny as those similarities are by themselves, Mega Mind Mega Team Unite for the Nintendo Wii has even more in common with the Mega Mind movie. It has a story mode, for example, but just like the film, they forgot to add a story. In fact, as bizarre as this may sound, Mega Team Unite is actually like a plotless hybrid of the 3D children's beat em up and the minigame compilation. If your interest was just mega destroyed, don't worry, it's a mega terrible concoction of mega dull conventions in Mega Mind Mega Team Unite. Super healthcare. You can't beat me, no way! Of course, to be fair, a game like this really isn't trying to be any good. It's trying to give parents the opportunity to provide their kids with mindless entertainment. After all, a child who isn't consuming interesting media is a child who isn't getting into crazy habits like thinking. So Mega Team Unite brings the mediocrity in four-player doses, guaranteed to keep children staring at the television in a drone-like state that barely resembles conscious thought. Based on your perspective, this game is either that bad or that good. There are only a handful of worlds in Mega Team Unite, and each one has a bunch of levels which basically rehash the same objectives in gameplay over and over. Now, at its core, the game is a brawler for kids, but the action is split into several short mini-games. Rather than one continuous stream of mindless gameplay, Mega Team Unite breaks things into smaller chunks, and actually, I think that's a great idea. I mean, if these levels were any longer than a few minutes, my Mega Mind would just Mega Burst. Fortunately, the game at least controls decently. There's an occasional problem with the accuracy of your aiming reticule during shooting levels, uh, which is a real bummer because those are the only remotely entertaining parts of the game, but otherwise Mega Team Unite controls as it should. Move with the analog stick, mash buttons to attack, aim with the pointer. It works. It isn't any fun, but it works. And ultimately, that's the mega story with the game overall. It's functional, and kids who like the movie will probably enjoy teaming up with up to three other friends for multiplayer, but that's about it. Otherwise, Mega Mind Mega Team Unite is just another movie-based mega dud.